go to Mike Hellgren live at the scene of a water main break in northwest Baltimore, just one of many caused by this intense cold. Mike? More than 30 water main breaks caused by this cold, and you can see the one here on Longwood Street, the icy gla glare on the street right here. They just salted this, and we saw a motorcycle try to come down it. The man fell off the motorcycle. You can see the brake is just up there where they're working. There was also a chlorinated gas leak in that area, but officials say it shouldn't affect water quality. Temperatures warmed a bit today, but the water main breaks keep coming. This one is on Longwood Street in northwest Baltimore near Lake Ashburton. There was also a gas leak nearby. I'd be glad when the water come back on because, you know, it's things I have to do today. And I really needed to get out to my appointment this morning, and I'm not going without bathing, so, you know, that's just a no-no. Crews have been working 12-hour shifts to repair more than 30 breaks in Baltimore City and County, including one in Catonsville that shot water high into the air and coated homes in ice. That's now been fixed. And another on Lombard Street in Upper Fells Point that's also been repaired. We ask that people bear with us. Our crews are working overnight and all day long to make sure that water is restored just as quickly as possible. The worst isn't over. Colder air, a polar vortex from the Arctic is on its way following a powerful coastal storm that will have the biggest impacts on the eastern shore closest to the beaches. But I just got back in because it was cold. And you're looking live at the impact of this water main break. You can see some of the water flowing down the street toward Gwyns Falls Parkway. It's still an icy mess out here. And with temperatures dropping after this coastal storm, we can expect to see many more of these breaks across the area. Live in northwest Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ.